Hello, welcome. My name is Emily and I have here the second update, I think, because I was a month late with this uh, to start with this project. So uh, for me, it's the second update in the hashtag team project pan, which was started by Kitchsnitch uh, Cat um, and just by the makeup. And she, her name is Haley. So they opened up this project to everyone who wanted to join and um, I joined but as I said a month late so the last time I had three empties a powder a blush and a brow setting product and this time I have four empties so I will start to show you them first this one, Studio 10 Glow Makeup Mist Glow Plexion is gone. And this was, the sprayer on this one was so bad, so I had to put this in another um, mist product. So I mixed them up and I didn't see any glow at all. <laughs> I, I have no idea if this was glowy or not. That product that I mixed it with, it mix it with was not glowy so I don't know uh, and the spray was so bad so I'm not gonna buy this again anyway got it in a subscription box or something so no that is not for me the second product that I used up was from this Isadora eyeshadow palette in matte chocolate looks like this and it's a hair on it I used up the first eyeshadow in this one a long time ago, or last year I think, that one. And this was in this project. project. And last time I said I'm gonna go on to that shade. So I've done that. And I have a nice dip. I had a dip before and of course it's growing but it's taking <laughs> a very long time to make it make any progress, progress on this eyeshadow because, because they are very densely packed bit powdery as you can see on this palette it is kind of dirty and that's because they are powdery but they they go so slow anyway so my goal is to use this whole palette up besides from this one because this color is so bad it's not good so yeah I moved on to this one so that is a replacement for the other one and last time it was only a little bit left so it wasn't any surprise to anyone I think. Then I have the third finished item which was a NYX Chunky Dunk uh, lip, I think it, it is called lip plumping or no not lip plumping, lip hydration lippy or something. Uh, Sex on the Beach is the name of this one and this is a, a mixture <laughs> between a lip gloss and a lip balm I think. It was very nice, hydrating and nice and it was sheer. Um, I will show you if I can, yes I can. Um, just a sheer red color which I appreciate because I don't like bright reds. So I used it mostly at home because it was hydrating so that was nice and it was very old so I'm very happy to have used that up so that's good and I will show you the replacement product for that one later and the last finished item was this jelly pong pong what was the name of it I used it as a base eyeshadow base and I think it was called bare necessities I got it in a subscription box also and I can't sharpen it anymore so it is gone. It was a light uh, uh, pink shade and it worked fine but it was a bit too hard so I had to fight a bit <laughs> to get it on so not a repurchase for me. But I'm glad I have used that up of course. So on to the progress and yeah. What do we have? First we have a primer, 
and it is from Catrice. It's called Primer Fine Pore Refining Anti Shine Base Mattifying Long Lasting Oil Free. Don't know if it's that long lasting, but anyway, I like it. It's a cream formula and it's not any uh, silicone feeling or something. So, yeah, a cream, white cream, and you can see my progress there. Not as much as the last time but it's because it will <laughs> be more product project more yeah more product the closer you get to the cap of course so I can tell you that I had another primer in another project which I finished so I can use a bit more of this now then uh, onto foundation. I have a powder foundation in this project and that's because I had another foundation in another project. So I chose a powder foundation and I decided to use it on my neck because it's too pink for me uh, in the face so I just wanted to use it up. And it's from Jag Mineral and the shade is... Oh! I took away the, the little sticker so I don't remember the shade but it doesn't matter. It is very little left. Hope you can see. Um, so this will be gone soon, very soon. And I tried to do another line but I just did it down, down here because um, the product <laughs> isn't filling the whole mm, jar. So a couple of uses more and then I will be done with this one. So next time you will see another foundation that I will replace that with. Then I have a concealer and I have this Nude Mineral and it's actually the same brand as the, the Jag Mineral. They cha changed their name to Jag Mineral after I bought this one. So this one I use as to set my eye primer and it is very slow going. I actually haven't done any new lines. Line? I think. I don't know. I had lines here on the side and I decided to do it on this like this instead because it's easier. So yeah I have a red line there but I think I'm a bit lower now because I did I I just did a line <laughs> a couple of weeks ago because I wanted to see how much it was when you um, marked it at this ah I will mark it better after I film this so a little bit of progress since the last time I hope and this is going to be here for a long time, I think, because you don't need much to set the eye primer. And this is very... You only need a little bit. That's what I was going to say. Then for powders, I introduced a new powder the last time, uh, because I used the other one. And this... Um, the In that update, I introduced this Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in banana from the contour kit and the pan has been growing I don't have photos because I don't edit <laughs> uh, because I haven't got time for that that so I don't but I don't think the pan has grown that much because I use it all over the pan so um, the product is sinking rather than making a bigger pan. So I think maybe not next update but the update after that I will be done with this one. I'm not I don't use that much powder actually. I use powder but very thin and on my neck I use the foundation as a powder so it goes slow. Then we have a setting spray. Yeah, I 
told you that I used up the Glow Plexion Studio Tan one. So I will put this one in here. The NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. <laughs> Sorry. It is um, both on English and French, so I didn't know what line I would read. Anyway, this is almost full. I can't see through it, so I am somewhere up here. So that one I will use. Then I have a bronzer, and this bronzer is from Ilamasca. You can see my uh, update lines there. These update lines, um, the plastic that is um, in this product is actually also me measured here so it's not that accurate accurate uh, anyway you will see when I roll this up you can see I have very little left so the it's the black thing so I'm sure that this will be gone by the next update which is good but I like this it is nice actually and I use it, I take a, a kabuki kind of brush or a flat densely packed brush and I just do like this and put it on because I don't like to put it on directly on the face because I think it rubs off the foundation. So that's how I'm doing it. Uh, then I have a blush and the blush uh, was introduced the last time because I used up another cream blush and this one is Bella Pierre and it is called Cheek and Lip Stain and the shade name is Pink and I don't think you're gonna see any progress on this one because I do it exactly as I do with the bronzer. I take the same brush brush, brush actually and I do it like this and onto my cheeks. So yeah, <laughs> this is gonna go very slow but I like it actually. Okay, what's next? Highlighter. Uh, for that category I chose a strobing pencil from Lord & Barry. It's just a small one and this one I use in the inner corner of my eyes and yeah I need to sharpen this one every fifth time maybe fourth so yeah I haven't sharpened it that many times maybe three or maybe four I don't remember and I have this one measured on my paper here so I'm gonna show you and you can see it no, there. <laughs> ah, there. I am with that one. Uh, so not as much progress as the last time, but anyway, progress on that one. Then I have. What do I have? I have a. Uh, mm, Mm. Yeah, eye cream product I al already showed you what I used up so I will put in this one instead and hope it works for me because I have a memory of that it didn't when I used it for, uh, way back when so I will try this again it's the NYX uh, Jumbo Eye pen Pencil in Sparkle Nude and the cap is broken as always on this uh, see-through caps they always break and I will show you the color here it's nice a bit dark maybe um, yeah we will see if it works if it doesn't I will um, replace it with something else okay then I have a um, brow uh, a brow color and I have this NYX micro brow pencil in the shade taupe and I'm not gonna roll it up because it takes too long so I'm gonna show you here on the paper instead and 
it is this one here sorry you can see I have half of it gone almost so that is going well then I have probably I will show you my brow tamer product my brow gel from Elizabeth Mott the queen of the fill uh, tinted brow gel in light and this is going strong it is very much product in this tube even it's, if it's just if it's just a mini here you can see the brush um, I'm not that fond of these kind of products because I think you get too much product on the brush so I always put it everywhere so <laughs> I have to go in with a q-tip and correct it afterwards so I think I like a clear brow gel much better actually okay mm, lip pen I have the Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals and where did I put it? Here. Uh, only used this I think once so I can show you a swatch if you want to. I think it's a very nice color but it's a bit too dark for me so I haven't used it much because I have been concentrating on another lip product and they don't they go well together but I don't like the dark they <laughs> they show up too dark on me so that's why and I wanted to use that up before this one so this have been sitting there in my bag and just been waiting to finish the other one uh, here you can see my small progress there so hopefully I can um, focus on that one a bit more when I used up this one the Rodial, Rodial I don't know how to pronounce it this lip pen lipstick crayon pen or it looks like this and I will swatch them beside between <laughs> I will swatch it besides the other one and you can see um, you probably can match them nicely but I don't like it. So I use this with a um, lip primer actually a see through or it's it has a bit nudie shade very very light beige shade so I think that's a very good combination on me because uh, it goes on much smoother and uh, it doesn't dry out my lips and I think the shade gets better with that one under so I will show you how I've been doing on that one this is that one here on the side so good progress um, hopefully it will be gone soon um, I have a bit left but I actually measured the plastic down here so the product stops here and maybe it doesn't go all the way down here either so yeah we will see and then I have a liquid lipstick I maybe I forgot to show you that the last time I don't remember uh, the Re Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lick Lip Color and the shade name I can see on this one because it doesn't say and I don't I think I used this once because I was so focused on the um, the other one and I will use it when the other one is gone I think maybe once or twice but I will not focus on that one okay and the lip gloss that I have had in this project uh, you all saw in the beginning and I am not replacing this one did I say that no every lip product that I use up in this project um, is not something I'm gonna replace because I have another project it's it's also a long 
year-long project. Ah, and it's stupid to have them in this, the products in two projects. So all my lip products is in that project, and as soon as I use up something, I will not replace it. So one down and three to go for this project. Okay, uh, I have a nail product. I think I <laughs> forgot to show you that the last time also. I don't have it. It's um, up to two stairs up uh, besides my bed and I forgot it there. Um, sorry, it's the Burt's Bees hand salve or nail and cuticle salve or something. Um, balm, I think. Hand and cuticle balm. And I'm making progress, but it's taking time to use that up. I have a pan and yeah, I will show you that next time. I have a lip balm and this lip balm was beside the... They <laughs> were together and I only remember to take this one. This is by Terry. Uh, this is by, by Terry. Uh, it's a lip balm and I like it very much. Uh, something rose. Balm de, de rose. Anyway, I only use this at night and just one time so the progress is very slow. But because I like it, I don't mind. So, yeah, it's going down, but it's going slow. And it smells very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, what's left? I have a perfume from Armani. It's the fragrance C. And it's dusty. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I have a progress like that now. And I'm getting there. Two months more, maybe. This will be gone. I like it, but I'm a bit tired of it. So, And why it's going pretty slow is because I use samples as well. So I don't use it every day. And I have a body product. And it is a rose hip oil from something some brand that I don't remember what the name is it doesn't matter and I have progress I am there now so yeah a bit more than the last time and you can see two more months and it will be gone and that's good because I don't like the smell and I don't like the product at all so just using it on my scars on my belly because, yeah, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. So, two more products. The Divine Oil from Caudalie is my face product. And you can see my update lines here. Not much usage because I have another um, oil that I have been using. And I have to concentrate on this one because I'd, I'm not going to be able to use this in the summer or spring. So, I will have to focus on this one. It's very oily. The last product is a hair product from Daviness. I think you pronounce it Daviness. Liquid Spell. And you can see my progress lines. They are very consistent. And I don't know <laughs> if this does anything, actually. But I'm going to use it anyway. Because it doesn't do anything bad. So, yeah. That's it. That was everything. Hope you're doing well if you do this project and um, if you don't, um, please comment if you have any comment on these products or anything and hope to see you in another update or video. Have a nice day. Bye.